Ms. Lohman, the, the Department of Labor's proposed overtime rule is deeply concerning for the well-being of our nation's small businesses, the nonprofits, universities, and all of the employers, really. The Department of Labor's approach has raised serious issues, particularly regarding the insufficient comment period and the lack of consideration for the challenges faced by businesses. The rush to push through the rule without a reasonable and meaningful comment period is a disservice to both employers and workers because a 60-day window is insufficient. Um, this is particularly concerning because of the fact that much of the information necessary to assess the rule accurately uh, did not exist yet. During the witness testimony on the proposed overtime rule at a hearing held in November before this committee, I was able to ask Mr. Paul DeCamp, who is a wage and hour attorney and the former administrator of the wage and hour division under the Bush administration, if he had ever seen or experienced having such a short comment period for a policy of this magnitude. And his answer um, was that he had not seen anything like this in his 25 years of experience in wage and hour issues. Ms. Lumen, could you tell us why the proposed rule was pushed through so quickly and in such an unprecedented manner? Thank you, Congressman Lord Burleson, for your question. Um, as you know, uh, the Fair Labor Standards Act includes the protection of workers from overtime. It's been a cornerstone of the law uh, since its enactment. Uh, and so enforcing the overtime rec protections under the Fair Labor Standards Act is absolutely a priority of the Wage and Hour Division. As a matter of fact, about 84% of the back wages that we collect for workers um, is associated with their failure to receive the overtime that they have earned on payday. Uh, we have uh, issued a proposed rule uh, to uh, address a specific exemption from protections for the fair, from the Fair Labor Standards Act, which is the exemption that applies to executive, administrative, or professional employees. Um, when an employee is exempt under that uh, particular rule, under that particular law, um, that means that they don't get the protections of minimum wage or overtime. Therefore, it's very important that we're very careful about who is considered exempt for purposes of that, uh, that requirement. Um, we have proposed a rule, and the proposed rule was uh, issued and will continue to be developed in compliance with the Administrator's Proced Administrative Procedures Act. Um, and the, we did provide a 60-day comment period in which we received over 33,000 comments uh, from it, people who were interested in making sure that we developed the best rule that we possibly could. Imagine if you'd kept that period open to a normal length of time, how many comments you would have received. Thank you, uh, uh, Congressman Burleson. Um, again, um, this uh, rule is following on a rule that was adopted in 2019. It's been about five years since we um, updated the overtime regulation. Um, and similarly, that rule was uh, adopted uh, under the Listen, EPA and had I, a 60-day comment period. You know, the 2016 rule that occurred under the Obama administration, it faced serious legal challenges and it was ultimately blocked. I expect and hope that the same outcome will happen um, with this. With this. Um, you know, our job is to protect the interests of small businesses, the non-for-profits and the workers across this country, which is done largely by keeping the government from overreaching and causing more problems. That's why we must prioritize policies that foster economic growth, support job creation, and create a system where businesses can be successful. The Biden proposed rule does the opposite, in my opinion, of these things, which is why I have introduced the Overtime Pay Flexibility Act. I'll be introducing that this week. Um, to address these issues and to stop the Biden administration or administration from implementing these new overtime rules. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I, so I would encourage my other members to uh, take a look at this new bill that I'll be filing. And with that, I yield back.